into the center of reality where the light of spirit shines in every heart even under megatons of malice and our own weapons of self-destruction and mass distraction redeem your soul as soon as possible by leading the world in generosity and responsibility for the great web of flesh and spirit. Wake to your mistake. Resurrect your soul, my soil. Defend our family planet for the collective good. Respect the youth. Speak the truth. Face your demon, America. Transcend corporation nation and be one with creation. Wake from your nightmare and become the dream of world spirit. I'd like to introduce my daughter, Zena Gray. my future parents in union, may I see the love rites of primordial Buddhas, choosing my birthplace for the good of others, may I receive a precious human body, may I not follow all my evil karma, but follow and increase what merit I have, wherever I am born, at that very place, May I meet the highest truth face to face. Wherever I am born, may that land be blessed so that all beings may be happy. beginning was the unborn, undying, indestructible spirit drop, the luminous Buddha mind, evolving through infinite lifetimes in infinite places, a DNA hologram of spirit and matter, male and female, life and death. I've been watching my parents-to-be and was attracted by the energies they radiate during copulation. And I realized this is my original face. Dad's lingam, mom's yoni, divine portals of primordial ooze, channeling my ecstatic essence of bodily selfhood. I enter my father's top chakra while he's making love with my mother and move down through his psychic energy spinal column and 
stabilize the group soul of the sperm. Then comes the hormone cannon firing great gift seed fish into mom's socket. <laughs> Beginning their intrepid six hour journey crawling and wiggling through the cervix in the dark canyons of the uterine folds. Sperm like a battalion of soldiers is magnetized toward the ovaries. One core goes down a dead-end fallopian. The other team fights its way to the queen, newly hatched from her ovarian womb, tender and pink. Does his special sperm break through the walls of the ovum? Or does her egg choose and allow in the one? Our collective karma and consciousness does the choosing. I am her, 23XX. I am him, 23XX. I am 46XX. I survive the war of becoming, surrounded by millions of dead brothers. As a Buddha zygote, I begin the alchemy of embryology by inserting my prima materia into the uterine alembic. The ovum is in the oven. Mom is the soul furnace. My cells pulsating, subdividing, expanding into a blastocystic ball parasite embedded on the wall of the uterus, sucking blood through my roots 24 hours a day. And now for my biggest trick, requiring precision timing and a leap of faith, I shall enfold myself a topological wunderkind. Gastrulation is perfect this time around. God is at the wheel, steering through the Deva's eyes, driving my cell clusters around my morphogenetic field. Those aren't gill slits, those are my ears. My genomes are humming. There's a veritable Niagara of blood coursing through my umbilicus. The sounds are a deafening roar inside the meat pump of the body. I hear all the digestion, the stomach grumbles, the farts, and the strange familiar echoes of outside life. muffled underwater sounds through the amniotic fluid. The divine spirit atom is my heart center, radiant fuel of my organic jewel, and I witness the magical loom of my cellular body being stitched together from the inside. Protein prayers written in genetic code. Bulges become limb buds. Buds extend into limbs. The details refine in my pulsating skin blanket. Fingernails, fingerprints, cartilage becomes bone. 
no longer a transparent fish.